everybody. Timothy Trespass, targeted individual. Um, I need a cup of coffee. Anyway, what I was saying before was that, um, you know, for 20, 30, 47 years, I don't know how many years, I actually believed that I was a piece of shit, that I was unlovable, that I was worthy of nothing, that I was, you know, these people had me believing I was, and the thing, the thing about it is that I always knew that they were wrong. I always knew that I had value, that I was, special, like everyone, like snowflakes. You know, I use this analogy. The snowflake starts as some water vapor in the sky, and it's cold in the sky, and the water vapor falls and condenses in the cold, and little bits of dust and chemicals and soot and pollution and da 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 get mixed in with the water as it congeals into water, you know, the vapor, and it changes the shape and the construction because of the bond angles and the ionic charges. And as it falls down through the sky, the wind blows it back up again to where it's colder, and it falls down again and gets blown back and up and down until finally it falls on your head. And if you catch it before it melts and you look at it with an eyeglass or a magnifying glass, you will see that it's very, very beautiful. Beautiful structures, beautiful structures. Now, I woke up the other day, yesterday, thinking with this word in my mind, this, this phrase, the living waters. What does that mean? For God's sake, the living waters. You know, I heard this as a kid in Catholic, my Catholic uh, guilt training for years. Living waters, I didn't know what the fuck it meant. You wanna know what it means? Water is alive. Water has memory. Water is sensitive to your emotions. Water will change its molecular, its, its, okay, not its molecular structure, its bond angle, I, I, I don't know, I haven't read up on this, but there are angles that, 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 that I don't know how it works, but it changes, it has memory, and as water flows through the world, it carries with it the emotional charge of everything that it has touched or been near. And since our bodies are 80, 90 percent water, I don't know how much, we have that emotional charge. So the water that we drink carries with it the life of the planet because it is the life blood of the planet. I'm sure you all know this crap. Um, Japanese scientist Emoto, I forget his first name, Dr. Emoto, they're all named Emoto. Family name. I know they're not, excuse me. Um, I'm just really ridiculous this week. But uh, he did this thing where he froze water after yelling at it or talking to it or even just putting written words on the bottle. And he would freeze it and look at the crystalline structure. And he found that words like love and harmony and beauty and compassion and friendship and help and, you know, made these beautiful crystalline structures and words like hate and death and Nazi and kill and prejudice and money made these horrible deformed, you know, malignant shapes and structures. So, uh, to me, that proves it, you know? Um, the living water, yes. And that's one of the things that 